Us cyclists love to spend money on things we might not necessarily need, but think we do. But one thing we almost definitely need are tyres. Whether you're taking on alpine coals, smashing out intervals on your local road circuit, or simply commuting to work, your bike needs a good set of tyres to get you there. But what are the choices when it comes to road bike tyres? Well, there are three to be precise. Clincher, tubular and tubeless. Each has its advantages and disadvantages, but what's the difference? Clinchers are far and away the most popular tyre among road cyclists. Clincher tyres are constructed with a bead around the edge of the tyre that hooks onto the rim of a clincher wheel. Clinchers come with completely separate inner tubes that can be repaired or replaced if they get punctured. Clinchers are popular because they're straightforward to fit and repair. They're also cheaper than tubular and tubeless tyres, and there's plenty of choice too, as many, many manufacturers produce them. While clinchers are super reliable, they are more prone to puncturing than other tyre types though. Tubular tyres, or tubs if you're cool, are kind of similar to clinchers in that they have inner tubes but the tube is instead stitched completely inside of the tyre, hence why they're also known as sew-ups. Tubular tyres only fit tubular specific rims and have to be glued onto the rim using a special adhesive. Tubulars are favoured by racers and traditionally have been favoured by pros because the lack of beading on the tyre means they're lighter and also reduces the risk of pinch flats. The ride feel is generally agreed to be smoother than clinchers which also makes them popular with racers. Despite all their benefits, fitting tubulars is a major faff and if you do get a flat, replacing the tyres and reapplying the adhesive or rim tape is a time consuming job. Tubeless tyres are the most recent innovation in the road cycling world. They've been popular with mountain bikers for years. As the name suggests, tubeless tyres don't have inner tubes. The tyre and the rim are designed in such a way so the setup is completely airtight once the tyre is hooked onto the rim. Sealant might also be used with the tubeless setup. The sealant fills the tyre and is designed to reseal small punctures almost immediately to prevent you flatting. Tubeless tyres are rarely flat and can also be run at lower pressures than clinchers which can be useful for different terrain types. You generally need tubeless specific wheels though, although you can use clincher rims with tubeless tyres with a conversion kit where the manufacturer recommends it. So those are the three types of tyre, but which is right for you? Tyre speed is generally determined by rolling resistance, that is, the energy that's lost when the tyre is rolling. Tubeless tyres have the lowest rolling resistance of the three, as the absence of an inner tube means there's no friction between the tyre and the tube. So if speed is important to you, you could consider tubeless. That said, tubular tyres remain the choice of the pro peloton thanks to their lighter weight and the feel they offer, which the pros are big fans of. Generally, clinchers will always be the first choice for amateur cyclists though, as they are the cheapest and work with the wheel type that pretty much all road bikes are supplied with off the shelf. As ever, there are advantages and disadvantages to be had with each choice, with differences generally playing out at the margins. That said, clinchers involve much less faff than tubulars or tubeless and are always going to be more popular with your average weekend warrior. Which are your go-to tyres? Let us know in the comments below.